Hello, today I will show you how to use the original Turbo Decoder professional version HU101 for uh, Ford, Range Rover, Land Rover, Volvo and Jaguar. This is the tool, the profile is 101. We have tension wheel, pin axis wheel and pump wheel. Keep in mind that uh, on some Ford Mondeo vehicles uh, after 2016, the manufacturer start to use 99 disc lock and this video is for full profile tank cuts. Inside of the box, you found a setup device to reset the pins, how to do that easy without damage. Push to the front this ring, keep turn it to the right the back wheel, and then only with this calibrated needle you have to go in the holes you see at the edge of your profile. There are six holes on one side and four on the other side. The total is ten, which means ten disc lock. If the two is inserted into the 9 disc lock Ford Mondeo, for example, uh, you cannot open that car. To reset the pins, inject in the hole and press. The shoulder of your setup device will stop and the pin will be set it up in maximum high position. When you finish to do that in every single hole, you are ready to proceed for the opening. Here I have a lock which is uh, for transit and I will show you a few scenarios during this video. The orientation usually in uh, Europe is with the four holes up or when the two is uh, in UK probably it's upside down. Uh, I think it will be with the six holes up. But I will show you how to understand if the orientation is correct. Let's do one wrong orientation on this lock. The pins are ready. We can see them by pull back this ring. We see that the top of the pin is on the cut number one, maximum high position. Lock it up to the front, turn to the right. Let's insert these two wrongly. It go in. We can to we must pull back this ring and we will see the numbers here and the line here. On the front we will apply tension to the left, start to rotate the back wheel. The hand will feel one very easy rotation, but you are on under tension here. Go on the other side and probably another easy rotation. There is some resistance, but it's after one. On the left, you check on the left, rotating here. You see easy on the back wheel, and that is a sign of wrong, wrong orientation on the tool. Go right, push to the front, extract the tool, reverse, now we insert it with the four holes up or correctly and we'll see the difference. Two fingers here, pull back, again left tension and here the things change it. Keep the tension, start turn the back wheel and almost immediately after the turn will be some easy travel and then good resistance. This is a sign of correct orientation. Now you know UK or Europe, you can check and you can find the correct way to continue the procedure. When you discover the correct way and you are in, start the opening procedure. On the front wheel, apply good tension to the right. Keep that tension and start to rotate the back wheel when the line match the first number here, line to one. Stop rotating, turn back and release. 
the tension. Check the lock, left tension, one again, turn, release. You can repeat or you must repeat that for 15, 20 times. Every time, stop at one, please. Oops, it's go a little bit after one. I hope that, oh, it's okay. Uh, so we have opened this lock at one. There is another model, another locks. Also the same model, you can open them. You will not open at one, you will open on two or three. That is a variable thing. In what moment you will open one, two or three. If you fail to open at one after 15, 20 times, of course, you continue with the tension and go to stop on second number for 10, 15, 20 times. Then you have to stop at three if no opening happened on two. For that reason, there are progressive stop points and it will be a mistake if you go directly to three. Probably you open, okay but not always and you have to strike reset and try again which is absolutely normal but uh, follow this procedure and it will be more more easy and more successful now we have to get out the tool from the lock to get out turn right completely stay in a neutral position push to the front this ring sometimes that push is not so easy you have to use four fingers, go and push. You have to use two fingers like this, push. But you must do that. When that happens, you are allowed to extract the tool from the lock. And here uh, we can see the pin. The pins, one is down, one is up another up so this is the configuration of of the pins i will show you how to read the code after let me open some other lock push to the front turn to the right and go to make one set of procedure again Insert the two, pull back, tension, one, back, release, the other side, the same. Repeat this for 15, 20 times. Easy locks open at one, more hard lock open on two, and the crazy locks open at three. That is the rule. Now, if our object is or was to unlock, we are done. We can unlock, lock, unlock. If we want to get the code reading, we have to do a few more things. Stay in rotation and make one final pump to maximum, it's three. You are in rotation, pump it to maximum. Now juggle gently the tool by follow the plane of the key. What is mean? This is neutral position, we are in this position now, turn it, and the juggling must happen in this direction, not in this. When we do that, we impress the sliding pins of the decoder from the wafers or discs from the lock 
and we impress them in the correct code position. More precise. We have to repeat the same on the other side. Turn to the right, bump to three, and juggle again. Now, go in a neutral position. Turn left, turn right. If you feel that the two turn very easy and smooth, without stuck, that is a sign that the coat is very well impressed. And remember the condition of the handle. We have here Three pointed uh, line pointed to three maximum left rotation. That is important when you start to read the code. Turn right to extract the tool. If you forget to turn right, you will block the tool inside of the lock. If you forget to lock this ring up to the front, you will break the tool into the lock. So please, to extract, insert and even reset the tool, the handle must be turn right, push it to the front. Extract the tool. Remember the position of the handle. Maximum left, three. In this position of the handle, you have to read the code of the lock. We have to start now from the side when we where we have six pins from this side we will read first and second pin first second third, four and on the other side uh, fifth and sixth pin are here seven eight here nine and ten here so one, two, five, six, nine, ten. This is the order of reading. And on the other side, two, three, six, seven. Let's start. The first number of the code of this lock will be the first pin closest to the handle or the, the first pin. Somebody can look like this. It will be the first. Now it is the last pin, but the pin closest to the handle is the first. So first pin and second. We see one good difference. And there is a line along the profile. Here, there is no line. Here is the, the profile. When the pin match to this spot it is cut number one the first line indicate cut number two second line cut number three third line cut number four here down is cut number five one two three this pin is cut number three this is one this is two this is four this is one this is one we have to write that on our book. This is the handle. We have here one, two, three. Three on this position. One on this. No here, no here. We have two here and four here. And last two pins are one and one. To get the rest, we have to rotate the two. Take a look. Two and one. Two and four. Two, one, two, four. This is the number, the code the mechanical code of this lock. If you insert these numbers in your CNC machine, machine, first, second, third, and so and so, it will cut a mechanical key for that lock. Okay, 
So the tool is also able to unlock the ignitions. Much easy when we are on the same car, we can do door, then no reset, just insert the tool into the ignition with the six holes pointed to zero, like this. We can do that, insert in this spot, just open here and try in what moment the lock will be turned. Because this is not from that car, we can do it directly. Now, reset. Insert the tool with the six holes pointed to zero. Pull back because the ignitions turn to the right. We have to rotate the tension wheel only to the right. If we do on the left, no sense. No, no sense to do it on the on the left. In other words, keep right. One turn release. Repeat. Fifteen, twenty times. Ah, sometimes is crazy. We want to read the code. Go on three, juggle, turn back, go in the neutral, go in the neutral position, turn right, push to the front, extract, slide back, go to three, and take a reading of this. Four, three, one, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. Or one, three, three, one. Probably is two. Two, two. Very, very easy. This is the original one. Thank you for watching this video. If you have, if you have a questions about this tool, just let us know. Good luck.